Hi everybody, thank you uh, for joining me again to reflect together. Uh, today from Psalm 146, we're near the end of the book of Psalms now and uh, this is this will be the last week that we look together at the final five Psalms. But Psalm 146 is uh, a Psalm of praise. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord my soul, I will praise the Lord all my life. Sometimes uh, I think when we're talking to God, when we're asking things of God, we, we're, we're kind of, uh, our focus is on the immediate. Uh, we need his help now. Uh, we need you to intervene right now, Lord. We need you to, to be present in the midst of today's situation. And perhaps over the last six months, our prayers have been very immediate as we have sought God's uh, in involvement and influence over the pandemic or over whatever situation that has, has we've been living through. But Psalm 146 reminds us of the eternal nature of God. He is the maker of heaven and earth, verse 6, the sea and everything in them. He remains faithful forever. And that foreverness um, stretches well beyond our own mortal life. That foreverness goes right back to the times of creation. That's what the psalmist is reflecting on here, but also goes right the way forward to beyond time as we will ever know it or comprehend it. He is faithful forever. Yes, he's faithful for today. And in the current situation, he's faithful to respond to us, to hear our prayers, to answer them. But his faithfulness remains forever. And sometimes today, we don't see the the sense of what is happening. We don't understand how God is at work, but the foreverness will enable us one day to look back and to see, yes, his plans are perfect. His ways are wholesome. Verse three, do not put your trust in princes, in human beings who cannot save. Very often we look to our politicians, our leaders, perhaps even our church uh, authorities to uh, give us something that we can trust in. But no, the psalmist continues and, and persists in, in kind of fixing our gaze, turning our attention to the one who created the heavens and the earth and the sea and everything in them. He's the one and only he is the one who remains faithful forever. So let's praise him. Let's honour him as the psalmist does here. And let's give thanks to him. Let's pray together. Father, thank you so much for your eternal nature. Thank you that you are the creator of everything that around us and everything that we are. Thank you that you promise to retain your faithfulness and your goodness forever and ever. Amen. The psalm ends with this verse, verse 10. The Lord reigns forever, your God, O Zion, for all generations. Praise the Lord. And that is what we as uh, today's Zion, today's people of God, that's what we can be doing, is praising the Lord uh, because of his love for us. God bless you, and I uh, hope to share more with you again tomorrow.